Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and something a little different. I was asked not that long ago um, what expansion packs I would suggest for a new player to buy uh, for The Sims 4. And I was looking at the list, uh, get to work, get together, city living, cats and dogs, seasons, get famous, island living, discover university, Eco lifestyle, snowy escape, cottage living. So let's just start with the oldest one here, right? Uh, this pack was solely for majority of the items that are here are for uh, some job or work that was designed for this pack. You got to be a police, you got to be a doctor, and you can be a scientist. All these three are something that you can follow to the place where they are working in the hospital, police station, or the uh, area 51, I suppose. And I adore this pack, okay? They, those three are one of my favorite careers all time. The items, I use a lot of these items. Actually, like there, there's a lot of useful things here that are plenty good for, you know, like um, cafes or uh, just any, anything. They're just so cute. I mean, I wouldn't use this. I, I wouldn't need this somewhere. But like these are really good props, you know, like for whatever build you're doing. They're excellent. And if I remember right, the uh, creator sim items were really cute too. I don't know if we could see them in this game mode anywhere. I don't think we can. But for me personally, get to work is love it. It's stunning. It's beautiful. And <laughs> I love those careers. Like just alone for those careers, I love this back, okay? Absolutely stunning and beautiful. Then we have Get Together. And this is a pack I have had from the launch time, all right? It, has, it, it is one of the oldest expansions already and it, it feels like it. What it needs is a little bit of a refresh for the, for the club system. I rarely keep remember to even use it. It's one of those systems in the game, I know that some people use it all the time for the benefit of, you know, as a child to do your homework and you gain this crazy amount of stuff to be able to be some superhuman child, all right? But I keep forgetting to do that. It, it just feels something that's forgotten to me. But the items, items themselves, um, they're fine. <laughs> There's nothing that's super fancy here. They're fine. This this came this expansion came with a map. We got a new uh, uh, town, village. What do you want to call it? Um, oh my god, a world. That's the word. We got Winterberg, if I remember right, with this because there is a flex and a bear and other. People living here that are from that pack, so I assume they are from here. Three spirits and stuff, yeah. But we got this, which is super nice. It's very thematically certain way. So if you want to, you know, make a save file like I did, you either want to completely ignore that or go with the flow. And I have never been good with this uh, style of building, so it's it's good good if you want it it's absolutely fine um I've, we could look at the create a sim items hey, i don't well, remember well, actually if it came with that much oh it actually did quite a decent amount i'm only mostly concerned almost for the males because we we can be sure that there is stuff for women but men not usually that much that's what i usually are concerned about Oh yeah, we don't. Uh, that was some custom content. We needed packs and get together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are one of my favorite jeans, actually. I like these a lot. 
This was really, really fun with the headphones. Uh, nice sweaters and... Yeah, absolutely fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and oh. what about... For girls, it was probably a little more. Not actually that much more. Tops anyway. More outfits, dresses and stuff. More bottoms, yeah. Makes sense. There's probably a lot more. I don't remember them. You can check the, all the items probably on the Sims webpage, so you can use that. And then next we have City Living, which came with San Majuno. And San Majuno is brilliant. I like it. What I find unfortunate is with the apartment buildings that you can't edit windows, you can't change doors and you know stuff like that. So it loses a point from that point of view. But if I remember right, the build buy items were pretty cool. So let's go and have a look at those. I have some lag in my game and I have no freaking idea why. But we can deal with that, right? Uh, with the living? Oh yes. Yes, he has just talking toilets, the um, game consoles, uh, the baskets. Uh, uh, you can um, play, you know, play music for m money and stuff like that. Really cool art. Yes, yes, I did like these built by items a lot. Yes, 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 indeed. And you could play as a DJ. In this pack, if I remember right, you could learn how to play music and get a little high from the bubbly relaxation. <laughs> and then I believe it came some sort of um, a politician career. So that was pretty cool. That was nice. And you can sell your paintings with this street gallery item. You could also use this for... Uh, Pretty nicely as a fridge and it, the food uh, never goes bad in this table so that was nice and sell the stuff from it so kind of like a yard sale thing that was really cool yeah 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 very good I, I did enjoy this a lot okay so let's pull you to love it I did and I do love it and then See, cats and dogs is next, and these items are adorable. Okay, I keep using these over and over again in all of my builds. Like, stuff here is just. It, mm, it just. I can't even have words. These are so adorable. They're so beautiful. And we got a map. Map. A world with cats and dogs. We got the Prindledon Valley. A bay. So we had this. You could be a vet. You could buy a vet clinic and run it yourself. Very, very nice. You got two new traits that were cat and dog lover. And you could be... Uh, I think the aspiration was something to do with the animal uh, animal friend or something. It's very good. It, I'm, 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 on the, I'm on the verge of loving it. But the limitations of cats and dogs are high. Um, you can't see their needs. The communication with them is very difficult unless you use mods. And I don't use that type of mods. So it's very difficult for me personally. Next pack, Seasons. Seasons brought us from Forever Summer to have all four seasons. Summer, Spring, Autumn and Winter. And these items are absolutely adorable. You could get uh, roller rinks, you could got, get skate rinks, uh, you you got this little, um, <laughs> what do you call this, a kiddie pool, thank you. And like all sort of a seasonal decorations, you could um, have Christmas parties, so we were sharing uh, presents, you can uh, have like a Christmas Eve or day, whatever you have to do. Also, flower arranging. Very, very cool. I enjoy that a lot. And also, decoration box. You can decorate your eaves and fences and stuff with this. Absolutely brilliant. Very nice. Seasons also came a lot with really cool creative sim items. 
and I think it is required expansion pack only because of the <laughs> it gives you more it, it gives in depth for the game from the forever summer to have something a little different every season as well it originally it brought us a calendar as well so there was uh, all sort of like seasonal things you could have valentine's day added or whatever you want as well so that's very very good absolutely needed in my opinion next one is get famous and for me personally this was a bit of a bust bust expansion i i think it's a meh uh it, it didn't bring me much joy i know people love the pack a lot and i get it i understand why but for me personally if you are someone who plays the same way as me a little bit you know just hanging out and whatever the whole celebrity system is uh, I, do, I just don't you you it's nearly impossible to make friends with the celebrity people and whatever like it, it's not enjoyable the only thing that i found very enjoyable was the actual acting career that was really nice so i think that bumps it to a okay if you enjoy that kind of a gameplay you are hit on that's excellent Next expansion, Zulani and Island Living. People were very disappointed in this. People were hating this expansion um, in general, I think, uh, due to the limitations on the mermaids. They weren't as in-depth as they were in The Sims 3. Um, I can't say, because I never played with The Sims 3. I never owned the uh, Isla Paradiso or whatever <laughs> the expansion was in The Sims 3. but. For me, Zulani, it, it's one of the most gorgeous worlds that I just keep going back to all the freaking time. Like, it just, it, it just is so freaking gorgeous. Like, I can't. So beautiful. It is small. Yes, I give you that. It is not big by any, any model. But it is just so freaking cute. You can be conservative. Uh, you can conserve basically the nature around here. You can find tur turtles hatching and make friends with a dolphin. Who wouldn't want to do that? Make amazing uh, water terrace uh, houses here. Like, um, like here you can see sort of a like... Like, it just make something really freaking gorgeous. Like, make some complex, like, platforming and whatever. You can do it all here. It is so nice. The items themselves as well. These, these are just something, like, that kitchen. This kitchen set is absolutely dying for. Like, this, this is just... I love this overhang i love it so freaking much and it happens on the island too it is just so mwah, like so mm, perfect kisses yes just absolutely yes 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 i need it i need it i love it and i need it and the next one is gonna be Discover University. If you have been watching my Not So Berry challenge long enough, you would know that I struggled big time. Big, big time in here. <sighs> I can't even like. I can't say I enjoyed my time. It was a big frustrative trip to be on in this expansion. It was. There was so much you had to do and you couldn't get anything done and I must have been dumb half the time on my time in in Discovery University, yes. And I didn't even get to see all the cool stuff that they apparently had. I've, I've got no idea, you see. No freaking idea. The items though, they are pretty cool. You finally get stalls, 
they are pretty pretty awesome if you are focusing on, focusing on building a lot absolutely worth it mm. there is <laughs> you know just basic basic stuff oh and this this really cute ikea looking uh, bookshelf not too bad also there's this interesting uh, chest item that you can store your stuff into I've n I didn't really look into it much more, but I held most of Priya's stuff in here when she was in university, so that was nice. Uh, so I'm gonna okay it. Personally, it's okay from me. Eco lifestyle and Evergreen Harbor. Evergreen Harbor, that is one of the most buggy maps and worlds in The Sims 4 right now, I believe, unless they have fixed it. It's not that long ago I tried to go build here and the... Uh, floorboards didn't change color, or the, the, the picture, the, the uh, floorboards just didn't change at all. It's <laughs> it's difficult. Like, am I even having? Yeah, this apartment where she is in. I tried to renovate this, and I couldn't get the floorboards changing. I got so mad, I gave up. And then also the vanishing roads on this area here in. Uh, con con Conifer station? Con conifer station? Whatever. The roads vanish. And that was irritatingly annoying flicker, whatever it was. Um, What this brought was a lot of people started to make these um, shipping container houses here. It brought a lot of off-grid and recycling and um, like action plans into The Sims 4. So you could, you know, make your neighborhood to be green uh, or, you know, uh, as wasteful as you want to, I suppose. Ruin your whole neighborhood if you wish to. Full of garbage and stuff. Like, it, it's... Mm, mostly I enjoy it because of the built-by items. They were brilliant. Even if they are behind the cheat uh, show uh, live items or show hidden objects, whichever cheat. Um, very, very good expansion. Then Snowy. Snowy Escape and Mount Komarebi. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful world. Uh, you were brought snowboarding and downslope skiing. Very fun. Also, you go with... Uh, uh, um, what are those things called? Uh, sledges? I, I'm not sure. What are they called in English? You tell me. Um, there is a bathhouse. And there's also a lounge here, which is really cool. And there was uh, ready done apartment buildings here. Uh, like houses that were really, really nice. They were made by, I suppose, the more popular sim YouTubers out there. Not, not someone like me. I wouldn't be asked to do stuff like this. Um, but yeah, there is a lot of like very nice content in this map as well. Very enjoyable, very much fun. And there is a couple of rental uh, apartments here as well, so you could go on a holiday here. So I think that bumps it to a love it, because I am a winter girl by heart. I love winter. I am a Finnish after all. So <laughs> I say it like it was a obvious thing that all Finns love winter. They don't. They really don't. It's because it's most of the year. Uh, but yeah, absolutely love this. The built by items, absolutely love them. And I'm gonna love it because of that alone. Then we shall see Henford on Bagley. That is for the Cottage Living expansion. And this is, this is bringing me such old English countryside vibes. And I love it. I love it so much. And I love making those big... Uh, rustic looking farms and you know having this little community here with the mayor who is dealing with all crazy stuff it's such a cute atmosphere here it's absolutely adorable you can run your own farm you can have llamas you can have chickens you can have cows you can sell your eggs you can use your eggs you can uh, take your chickens to, uh, to the little animal show and try to be the best bucket chicken ever uh, you know there's so much into this i haven't even been able to do it all yet 
because I somehow am all the time busy with something else than playing the game itself. But it's... And James Turner had the most adorable uh, expansion uh, playthrough of this on his channel. Totally <laughs> recommend watching that. It was so good. It was so enjoyable to watch. I'm gonna give this need it. And that's all the expansions at this very moment that are on Tear Maker that I found ready on the website. And um, there's... <laughs> I don't remember what was Werewolves uh, expansion. I need to actually Google that right now. Let, let me handle that for a second. It looks like Werewolves were actually a game back. If I'm reading this right. All the Night Away in The Sims 4 Werewolves game back. Yeah, so it's not an expansion. So this is all the expansions we have at the moment. And yeah, from my point of view, you totally need seasons, you totally need island living, and you totally need cottage living. And if you disagree, I would love to know why. And if you would totally need, for example, um, get famous instead of uh, uh, seasons. Do tell me why. I'm curious. Do tell me. I want to know. Because everyone thinks differently, everyone plays differently, so keep that in mind. Keep that in mind when you are thinking of purchasing a expansion pack or any pack in the matter. How do you play it? Is it worth your money? And all that jazz, you know, like just just <laughs> use your brain and don't just buy it blindly. Because I think we all learned a little lesson with my wedding stories. It was so hilariously and sadly broken that it took people like people were refunding it for a long time and then repurchasing it after it was fixed. And yet still, it's not completely fixed. So let's keep in mind, use your money where you think it's worth, not because someone else says something. But yeah, thank you for watching me and I'll see you in the next episode. Happy swimming to you and bye bye.